So today I'm going to be showing you the Dior State of Gold Holiday Collection. It's a lot of pieces. I'm very excited to show you. I might be doing a try on as well. Probably just the lipsticks because I already have one of the nail polishes on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. So for all the prices of the um, products that I'm talking about today, I'll list them um, in the down bar below. So if you guys are interested, it is limited edition because it's a holiday collection. So if you're interested in picking it up, um, I suggest go out to the stores and buy one. They're available at counters and um, online as well. So I will just start with these nail polishes. They are um, in the limited edition packaging, super sweet little round bobbles kind of look like Christmas ornaments. This one is called State of Gold and it does have a little sparkles of silver and gold glitter in it. Um, they're really fine and they're really pretty so that's the gold one. The next one is kind of a metallic gold silver gone through it. It's called Grior. I don't know. It kind of has a little bit of iridescence to it as you can kind of see in the bottle. This one would be nice as uh, over top of a red. By itself, it would also be really pretty. It's not my shade I'd go for. I'm pretty plain when it comes to um, nail polish. I don't like them to be too shimmery or glittery. And then the last two are my favorite. The red one is a pure Christmas red. It's beautiful. It is called Passion and I love it. I had this on my nails a couple of days ago and it was just beautiful. It's just pure, true Christmas red. Comes out the color that is in the bottle exactly with two coats and it's all done. The last one is called Mystery and that's what I have on my nails right now. Um, in the bottle it kind of looks a little bit more purpley but in the on the nails it's kind of more oxblood color. It is gorgeous. These are the cute little Dior lipsticks. I had these in Newfoundland. Um, I got the package when I was back home and my dad, he was like, what are they little weightlifting barbell things? And I thought that was so cute. So I'm going to swatch these on my hand as well as on my lips. So there are two fun colors. So a red and a hot pink one, which are just not coming up as well. There we go. I cannot hold lipsticks. And then there are kind of two easy to wear nude colors, which I mean, let's be honest, bright colors are kind of easy to wear too. You just have to be a little bit more careful, especially if they're on your teeth. I mean, lipstick gets all over my teeth all the time. It's just driving me nuts. So I don't know where it comes from. But anyway, um, I will swatch these. And first we will go with Radiuse. I don't know. That is Radiuse on the hand. Uh, these are all matte colors. You know, we'll swatch that on my lips right now. So that is uh, Radiuse on my lips. I already have a blog post about these four lip products. So if you guys want to see them on my lips and pictures and just analyze them that way, you can. I'll link that post below too if you want. So check that out. And next is going to be Fascinate. And it is kind of a darker nude color. And there it is, swatched. It's kind of a, you know, obviously a darker version of that. But on my lips, actually, it looks a bit different. So that color was called Fascinate, and here it is on my lips right now. I'm just trying it on for you. Just doing a little pose, because that's what I do. It's a little bit darker, easy to wear. I think this would be really nice to wear to a Christmas party. So this third color is called Fantastique, and well, it's spelled the fantastique in the French way. Um, it's a really hot pink color, super fun for Christmas, especially if you have a plain little black dress to wear or something, that would be a real pop of a color. And there is fantastique on my lips. Um, as you can tell, it's super bright on the lips, easy to wear even though it's a matte color. You know, it's not drying on the lips at all, so that's super nice. It really, it doesn't tug on your lips at all. It's very, it glides on, so to speak. So it's a very rare case, I feel like, for matte lipsticks. But uh, it feels really nice on the lips. You don't have to wear a balm underneath, I feel like. So yeah, I really like them. And the final lip color is called Fabulous. In the French way of spelling, it's so fabulous. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be wearing this one to my husband's Christmas party. It is just a eye pop in red, man. It's like totally Christmassy. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know what to say about it. I just really like it. So that's a keeper. Okay, so now that my lips are like super sore, I am going to continue on uh, with the eyeshadows, a lip gloss, and then a little eyeshadow pot thing. I don't know how to describe it, but I'll show you guys right now. How about that? It is a long wearing eyeshadow in the color Blazing. 
It's called Dior Show Fusion Mono. Um, comes in this pot. But the thing about this, I also tried this out in Newfoundland, is that it's kind of squishy when you, it's like moussey texture, but not moussey because it bounces back. I'm looking up the mirror to see if I'm in the focus or in the frame at all. But there is the eyeshadow. It is, I want to describe it kind of like Stila's Kitten, that eyeshadow color, but it's more on the silver side because I think the Stila Kitten is more of a gold. Oh, it's just like, ooh, I just want to touch it. Like, it's just so soft and like bouncy. So here's what it looks like. And this would be beautiful on its own because it is kind of a champagne color. Can you see that? Oh dear. Coming up? I don't know, whatever. But I am going to try that on for you and just show you how awesome it looks on the eyelid without any eyeshadow on, it, on top. I mean, yeah, it's a long wearing eyeshadow and you could wear it by yourself, but I feel like it's kind of meant to put on top of just um, a regular eyeshadow look for Christmas or a smoky eye or something like that and then just add this to, I don't know, like the center of your eye or something as a little pop. It's just gorgeous. So I'm going to put that on, show you what it looks like. I'm going to put it on just with my fingers because it's just like super easy. So it just adds a bit of sparkle to the eyes, nothing too dramatic. Um, I feel like people with fine lines, aka me, can wear this on your eyes without, you know, going too overboard. I don't know, I like the way it looks. It's like super easy to wear. You don't have to blend too much. I think some of these eyeshadows dry out after a little while, but the tip is to just lay it down flat um, on the, the lid side, not on the bottom side, and then all the stuff will kind of go to the front. I don't know, it's just super pretty. I just really like that one. Like, look at my eyes. Can you see? Hope so. Okay. Next item, let's talk about that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is also to go with the Dior Holiday Collection. It is the Dior Attic Gloss in the color... I'm not going to try to pronounce that one, hey? I'll just leave that one below. First I'll do a swatch of it just to show you guys what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't have a ton of color to it, but it does darken up your lips and add a little bit of sparkle to it as well. Uh, when you rub your lips together, you can't really feel the grittiness of the sparkles. I know that some Dior lip glosses I've had in the past have had that little gritty feeling. This one doesn't, which is good. Nice, because you don't really need a mirror to apply a gloss since it goes on kind of nude, kind of clearish. So that would be nice for somebody who doesn't really wear lipstick but still wants something a little bit special. The last two things that I'm going to talk about are the eyeshadow quads. One is called Blazing Gold, one is called Eternal Gold. So I'm just going to show you. So this is the Eternal Gold color palette. Um, as you can see, there's kind of a chevron pattern on it this time, and it's not really Eternal Gold colors. There is a lot of earthy tones and a pop of light gold in the middle with olive green, a nude colored, a purple, and then kind of a sparkly darker color. So, And this also comes with a uh, those two little brushes, which I'll show you in a second. Here are the two brushes that it comes with, which I'm going to pop out so I can show you. This one's called Blazing Gold. And again, not much gold in it, but the center is pop of gold. These are more pinks and gray colors so you can create kind of a nice dark reddish smoky eye for Christmas. And that's everything from the Dior State of Gold Holiday Collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see any more swatches. A lot of it is going to be on my blog um, so stay tuned for that. It probably will be already live by the time this video goes up. We'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of unboxing sort of swatching video and if you guys enjoyed it please thumbs it up and I'll talk to you guys in my next video see you next time